Hey there everyone, this is Danielle. Uh, so in the previous video I said I'd finished uh, Dreamweaver's, Macromedia Dreamweaver's world, except for the flight level, but I completely forgot that there's actually a boss level here that I didn't go into, so um, first thing we're gonna do is go into that boss level. Uh, let's see, this is the wrong way. Um, once we've beaten the boss, we have actually finished this world and we can move on to the next one, but... Yeah, I was wrong before. <laughs> Completely forgot that there was a boss that we hadn't done. So, that's awkward. Yeah, let's make our way over here. There we go. Uh, the boss is hidden... somewhere. <laughs> I believe it's uh, behind these ladies here. Or, you know, people? I don't know if they're ladies. I assume they're ladies, but they might not be. Here's the boss. Jocks. I don't remember anything about this boss. I, I think I've never actually played this area of the game as a kid, so... It's just not something I'm familiar with. Anyway, this is the boss that I completely forgot about when recording the previous video. I remembered the instant I stopped recording. So, let's go. <laughs> I don't know if this is like a hard boss. I'm guessing not, because the bosses in this game are generally pretty easy, but we'll see. <sighs> okay, we've got gross things. Ugh. Can I charge those guys? They look big, but they also have metal armor. Okay, I can charge them. Ah! Oh my god. That was, that was intense. That's a bit much. Uh, okay, reigniting. I guess I can charge these guys, I know that now. So let's do that, and then let's take out that guy and jump onto this thing. Okay, okay, we're, we're doing good, we're doing good. That's lava, I think? Better not touch that. I mean, or water, you shouldn't touch it anyway, because of the way the game works, so... I'm not sure it's that much different. Uh, I've got a lot of these guys running around. There's a lot of stuff going on in this level. <laughs> Just, like, all over the place. Very busy. Ow. You just hit me with a flower. Flowers aren't deadly, what are you doing? Flowers are harmless. I mean, not necessarily, but you know, they're, they're flowers, come on. <laughs> they're very soft. a locked chest up there, which is a little alarming, because I have no idea where the key might be. <laughs> I also don't know which way the boss is, like, I'm just going up one of these paths here, and there's a split path, so the boss won't go the wrong way. But, you know, there's loot here, so I might as well get it. Uh, that looks scary. There's a locked chest, as mentioned. Don't have the key yet. Uh, can I charge these guys? These guys are really easy to deal with. They're like, they looked scary at first, but they're super easy to take out. It's kind of hilarious. There's a hot life hiding back there. Don't need that really. Lives aren't important, but I might as well grab it. Yeah, I guess I'll go out over there. Some more chests. Can I glide that far? Uh, I think yes. Yes. Okay. Some sort of big purple pillar there. 
Grab my chest. I'm not sure what's up with that purple pillar. It looks cool, but... Oh, maybe I can break it? Or something? Like, it seems to be reacting when I touch it. Hmm. Beyond that, no. So, I'm not sure. I am confused. <laughs> Looks like I do want to go the other way, so let's head back around. Okay, so these, these are the pillars that um, we saw earlier in that other bit. There's these things that go up. Okay. I don't know if this is the boss or... Um, yes, it's the boss. Okay, so I do want to go the other way first. I wasn't sure which one was the boss and which one was the other thing. Um, so yeah, to get to the boss, I think I need to take out both of these guys well, and then jump on the little platform in the middle. Yeah, then I can climb up there, not the boss, to get to this, which is the key! Heck yeah. Love those keys, I'd love to have one of those. Okay, so now I just loop back around. Or we'll fall off, you know, that's fine too. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, I have the key now, so I'm just gonna take the key to where it needs to be, and then go fight the boss, and that should be all the treasure, I don't think I missed anything, so... This is a weird mechanic. <laughs> uh, I forget exactly where the chest was. I think it's this way, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I think it is this way. Keep going. What do you do? I hear it's making the noise, but I have no idea what you activated. Okay, so yeah, there's the, there's the, the locked chest. The boss is also over here as well, so this is pretty much the right way to go. <laughs> ka -chink. Give me that, give me that treasure. How much is there? 500 in the boss, really? That's a lot of treasure. Okay. Uh, let's go this way. Re 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 revelo? Re revelo? Any advice before this battle? Advice? Hmm. A wise dragon once told me aim high in life, but watch out for flying boxes. Watch out for flying boxes, uh, y'all. Huh? Very dangerous. I guess that's the boss, I assume. Ah, oh, he's gonna throw presents at me. Okay. This is very weird. Transmisogyny. Oh, he's a jack-in-the-box. That's why his name is Jax, and why he stands on these boxes. I see. I get it. I get it. I'm not sure why he's throwing presents at me. That doesn't really seem to fit, but whatever. I tried to dodge and it didn't, didn't, dodge, the dodge didn't dodge. Anyway, so yeah, I took some damage, but the boss was still pretty easy. <sighs> How close am I to having all the treasure now? Okay, still have a dragon somewhere, so I've missed some significant stuff here. Um, hmm. Uh, can't see anything else over this part, so I guess I'll head back and have another look around. Is 
Yeah, there's a, another dragon here. That's that's a pretty like major thing to miss. Um, let's let's heal up a little bit since we can. There we go. Ow! That's not what I wanted at all. Um, let me see. I did already duck into that passage and get that, so that that's not what I'm looking for. But I do need to go this way to get back to where I want to be, I think. Ah! That's not good. <laughs> Reigniting... Okay, so we're here again. Let's head back up these steps. Hmm, we've been there, I've been there. I see the dragon. I see the dragons over there. Okay, um, how do I get to it? I'm gonna get on top of that pillar, but I can't see a guy that will lower it for me, unless that's what that one on the other side does? It is, okay. Then I stand here, wait for it to go up, and I can glide over to the other dragon. And also, treasure and stuff. There's quite a bit of stuff over here. Hello, dragon. It's it's uni Unica. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Take care. Thanks, Unica. There we go. All dragons found. Okay, what have we got over here? Uh, lots of stuff. What do you do? Okay, you give me a platform. I can use to go over there. Do I want to go that way or this way first? I'm not sure. This looks like a side area, so yeah, I'll go this way first. Did I get them all? I think I did. <laughs> yeah, cool. Okay, now let's go the other way. Moving platforms over lava, that's what I'm looking for. Uh, um, that wasn't quite what I was looking for. <laughs> oh dear. So the lava works exactly like water, like the behavior is no different, just the color. So maybe it's just supposed to be water. Okay, and this should be the last treasure. Or not, because there's some more over there. Come on, come on, come on. No! Dang it. Okay, maybe I need to do it quicker and there might be more platforms or something. Like from the... From the whatchamacallit, the... You know, the thing. <sighs> you know the thing. <laughs> the little imp guy who makes the platforms pop out. This one. So maybe I can use that whirlwind to get a bit more height the first bit. No, that didn't get me any height. Uh, how do I do this? Do I just need to be better? Because I can probably manage that. That's, that's what I need to do. I can probably be better.
Okay, so we want to get onto this platform and then use the whirlwind here. You lose height very quickly when you're gliding, so you want to get onto this platform. And then, I think if I glide from the very edge... Yeah, okay. There we go. You have all of the treasure! You're a powerful dragon, Spyro, and you have all of the treasure! <laughs> How do I go back from here? I don't think I can glide that far. Maybe I can. Let's give it a try. Nope. <laughs> I should have hit start and gone exit area faster. Because I wouldn't have wasted a life, but whatever. Yeah, I'm not sure there's a way to get back. Like, based on that distance. Mm, let's go exit level. Boop. There we go. Anyway, uh, that's it for this video, I suppose. I might just head on to, uh, N Nork Central or Nasty's World or whatever the game calls it. Just so we can get a first look at it. Um, I won't do any of the levels in it. I seem to remember it's just, like, uh, just, like, the level entrances and nothing else. It's kind of like, um, kind of like a Crash, Crash 2 level hub rather than a Spyro level hub. Um, which is an interesting decision, considering how the rest of this game works. Anyway, uh, the balloonist is, like, right here, so we can easily leave. So we're gonna go ahead and do that, just to get a quick well look. Done, I'm not sure what I need to do, we'll get a lot of treasure probably, but... So yeah, the game just calls it Nasty's World. I don't know if that's because it's actually Nasty's World, or if it's because they've just... Hopefully when we get there it'll be Nork Central, because that was a cool name. Nork, Nork Nexus, sorry. Gnork Genexus. Not Nork Central, that's not a cool day. <sighs> Nork Nexus. You should be able to breathe fire in these cutscenes, but you can't. Which is a bit sad. Uh, anyway, yeah, so that's... Uh, man, uh, the, um... Macromedia Dreamweaver's well done. So here we are in the final world of the game. Yeah, as you can see, there isn't much to it. This is the whole home world. I'm gonna grab all the loot here just to get it over with. I think these rats give you butterflies. Yeah, they do. Basically, I believe you're forced to do all the levels in this area and it unlocks each one as you finish them. Which is very different from how this game normally works. I'm not sure why they change things up at the end here. It's weird. Eat a lip. Also, I think some of the treasure is actually inside these. And so you can't get all the treasure until you open them up, which is annoying. Also, also, this looks very different to the way it looked in the original game. Uh, in the original game, it was a lot darker. It was like... I think night time here, it just looked kind of chill. Which is an interesting choice. Anyway, here's a dragon. It's Delvin. Hey, didn't I already free you? You're in Nasty's world now, Spyro. And you are the dragon that must defeat him. Bring him on. I'm ready. Reach the exit in each of Nasty's lands. Then you can challenge the Nork himself. See? Yeah, you, you've got to do all of them. It's annoying. Okay, so the hu the hub world is called Nort Nexus, but the actual, the actual like, world is called Nasty's World. That makes sense. I mean, sort of, because the other ones didn't do that. They just had the same names for the hub and for the world that it was in. But yeah, it's still called Nort Nexus, which is the important thing. Uh, okay, so yeah, we'd have to do that one first. It's Nork Cove. Or, or Knork Cove, maybe? Is that a G or a C? I'm not sure. Anyway, um, yeah, we'll be doing that in the next video. For now, thanks for